Yeah? Of course he hasn't escaped. What? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. First you tell me that he got out of his cell, now you tell me you want me to let him out? Oh. Oh, he's being released for 24 hours. Okay. His cell will be waiting for him when he gets back tomorrow. What's the matter with your leg? Oh, I just twisted my ankle. It's no big deal. I had to pull every string to get you even 24 hours. The lawyers are all sure that they can get the courts to void that contempt citation. Well, if I can't get this whole thing cleared up in 24 hours, Benita Gray is going to be in a lot of trouble. What are you going to do? I want the Bugle to print a special edition. Do you realize what that would cost? I just need one copy of one paper dated tomorrow. What do you want me to do? You know Mr. Gray's coins that were supposedly stolen? Mm-hmm find out who insured them. That's easy. Then I want you to do an impersonation. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Wait a minute. What are you doing with my phone? Using it. Hi, Julie. This is Peter. Hi. Look, I need your help. Say what? I want somebody to think that the press is working on a story, and I don't want it to look like it's just coming from the Bugle. Is it a legit story? I'll tell you all about it tomorrow morning. Now, you just act like a nosy reporter from the register. I think you know how to do that. It'll give it much more authenticity if the story's being investigated by more than one newspaper. OK. I'll hang in tomorrow until you call. OK. Bye-bye. Alden Gray here. Mr. Gray, this is Miss Conrad, Adjustment Department, Arm Brewster Insurance Company. There seems to be some question as to the authenticity of the coins for which you filed a claim. No, no, there is no question. I bought the coins myself. They were examined thoroughly before they were stolen. They're absolutely authentic. I'm sorry, Mr. Gray, but the story is all over the newspapers, and it'll probably be on the TV news. We'll be forced to hold up payment on your claim until we get conclusive evidence that we are not being penalized financially for the theft of worthless coins. Congress to approve the income tax cut must be considered the top story of this morning. In other news, the police announced that they have released Bonita Gray, former wife of coin dealer Weldon Gray. The coin, which was thought to be evidence in the robbery of her former husband, has proved to be a counterfeit, and the case against Mrs. Gray has been dropped. In other news, the Child Abuse Prevention Center
ignore me, Mr. Gray. I'm Julie Masters with the Register. Do you have any comment on the police report that the coins stolen from you were counterfeit? They weren't. And I have no further comment. Well, how do you explain the fact that the only one found by police was definitely counterfeit? No comment. Coins. Well, it'd be my pleasure if you have the money. Take a look at that. Well, ain't that the strangest thing ever I seen? Get me the other coins. Like I said, I'm a trusting man, but it looks to me like you switched the coin I gave you and planted a counterfeit. Oh, come on. Don't you think the cops know the difference between a counterfeit coin and a real one? He's got no reason to plant a counterfeit. His wife's off the hook. Then what do you suppose happened? I don't know, but I want to make sure the other four coins are real. Shall I get them? As soon as we arrange, Mr. Gray doesn't see where the stash is. Oh, come on. I don't have time to waste. Oh, really? Well, maybe you can find time if you have no choice. You get off the ship and you wait in the dark. Why? Because I don't want you looking and snooping. All right, buddy boy. I'll get the pretties now. Parker said it, All right, he? fish that man out of the water and get that guy out of the boat. Looks like your man called it this time. Yes, it looks as though he did. Boy, am I glad to see you, you Lieutenant. Some lunatic threw me in the boat. Lieutenant. Book him. Where's Peter Parker? 
If those men did anything to it. Did you get the evidence? Yes, we got the evidence, all right. Then those men are getting prison sentences. And I see the register's getting pictures of all this. What's the bugle getting? I guess I got here a little too late to take it. No, Peter, you have half the pictures I have. I wouldn't have any if it weren't for you. Well, that leaves me with nothing to complain about. Come on, I'll drive you back to town. No, I've got my car. I'll take Julie. 